Hi, welcome to collision station in the hashing. The hashing generates the same hash value for two input keys. The newly inserted key maps to an already occupied storage location, but it should be handled by using the collision handling methods. For example, you look at that my uh, given input is is so for this is the ascii values are substituted for uh, two alphabets i and s the key value is now 220 so for 220 the given uh, table size is 9 so we are we are calculating the uh, key value is 4 so in the fourth location in this fourth location you assume here the fourth location is storing the value uh, is yes. so here it will be stored the value 2 is stored here right now uh, again i want to store the second value yes i so yes i will be stored based upon the uh, calculation of hash value here uh, ASCII value for the s is 115 uh, for i 105 the key value is again 220 with mod 9 i am getting the 4 so again the same index number 4 is used uh, to store the second value that value is now yes i but already is is stored the memory location is occupied by the first word is then second word is unable to store in the uh, same index number four so this process so now yes i the word is collided with the already existing word is so this process is called collision right so uh, it, it it creates the problem whenever to insert the value at the time also it is colliding and also when you are accessing the value what will be happen when if i want to access the value si it will calculate the keyword for then it will search the value the uh, it will confuse either searching word is is or si so during the updation during the searching also it will create the uh, confusion to uh, access the specific value if both are stored in the same index so this is the issue uh, raised by the static hashing so this uh, when it will be happen right so here uh, whenever two or more keys are sharing the same slot at the time collisions will be occurred so uh, the situation will be raised when uh, the number of case number of case greater than m you look at that the this is the uh, universe of keys we are having for example 100 keys in that 100 keys our k is here we are taking 50 number of keys so here our table size is suppose 30 okay if our table size is 30 then here k value number of keys greater than 30 so number of keys are 50 so we, can, we are unable to store all 50 number of keys in the 30 buckets of the table so in this situation there is the uh, 100 percentage possibility of collision but if our number of keys are less than the table size look at here suppose i am having the uh, 20 number of keys here if i am having the 20 number of keys then uh, it is uh, able to store 20 number of keys in the size of uh, 30 uh, buckets in the table so 20 slots can be easily uh, accessed to store the uh, uh, values among 30 number of buckets from the hash table so in that in that uh, situation may or may not happen the collision so this kind of collisions can be avoided by using uh, two different approaches one is open hashing that open hashing is having another name separate chaining and uh, the second technique is closed hashing other name is open addressing so this is having three more sub uh, divisions linear probing quadratic probing and double hashing so these methods separate chaining and uh, open addressing methods are used to handle the collisions in the hashing thanks for watching